In this demonstration, I'll show you some advanced post-processing capabilities available in ANSYS Ensight. Specifically, I'll be showing you how to utilize Python in Ensight for various operations and how to run Ensight in batch mode for automated post-processing. Macros are scripts executed by keystroke and make the post-processing stage faster by performing a set of operations quickly. Python scripts can be created from a list of commands by copying the commands into a new Python file and utilizing Insight's native Python converter. Here, I've converted some commands used to take a screenshot and I'd like to turn this into a macro. I'll edit this Python script to incorporate the date and time into the file name. I can now either run it directly or create a new macro. I'll save the macro to the Y key and select the Python file I just created. I'll put my cursor in the graphics window and test my new macro. Python can also be used to create a useful GUI for performing operations with specific settings. Using Python, I've written a script which acts as a tool and will generate a GUI in the Insight interface. In this script, I've utilized basic Python language, such as an if statement, in order to enhance the capability and applicability of this tool. After restarting Insight, this tool becomes available and can be added to the Features bar. When I click this GUI, it asks for a scaler to operate on and the number of screenshots I'd like taken. Once I hit OK, all parts are colored by the pressure, extraneous parts are hidden, and three high-quality pictures are taken. I can verify this by examining the console output window. A GUI demo script, which introduces many of the Python GUI options, is included with the installation of Ensight, and it can be accessed through the user-defined tools. Beyond shortcuts and interfaces, Python scripts can also be used to quickly post-process subsequent cases automatically. After post-processing a case and converting the commands to Python, I can quickly change the names of the input and output files and compute my results in batch mode. I can run one script at a time like this, or I can run all of my scripts by writing a batch file and referencing it in the command line. Running Insight in batch mode drastically cuts the time taken in the post-processing stage by avoiding the interface completely and allowing you to focus elsewhere while Insight executes each script automatically. The results produced are accurate, practical, and consistent across different cases. This concludes this demonstration on some of the advanced post-processing capabilities in ANSYS Insight.